Hello friends, I am back with some food facts for you. So, did you know that tomatoes are a fruit and not a vegetable? Although we eat them with a salad, they are technically a fruit. And strawberries, one of my favourite fruits, are one of a kind. They are the only thing like it in the whole entire world. And that is because the seeds are on the outside. So unlike a tomato, where the seeds are on the inside, a strawberry, the seeds are on the outside, which helps them to pollinate. And when us grown-ups decide that we're a little bit poorly, we're feeling a little bit run down, we think, you know what, I'm going to eat some oranges and get lots of vitamin C. That'll make me feel so much better. Well, we have found that there's four times as much vitamin C as a red and yellow pepper as there is in an orange. So when we grab for the oranges off the shelf to get some vitamin C to feel better or some orange juice, which still counts, we're actually better off to snack on a fresh pepper from the fridge, which has a lot more vitamin C in it. So when you go home, I'd like you to quiz your adults and your grown-ups at home about everything that you've learnt today about fruit and vegetables. Because I'm sure there might be some questions that even your grown-ups might not know. I also wanted to talk to you about different diets. So, you might have heard about allergies. You might know somebody with an allergy. And that means that their bodies are unable to digest certain ingredients, such as milk, wheat, eggs, seeds, or maybe even nuts. One in three people live with an allergy. That's one in three, that's some big numbers. They need to avoid eating these foods that they are allergic to, and some of them are really serious allergies, can they be really poorly and end up in hospital. So even their friends need to be quite conscious of what they're eating and what they're giving to their friends. So some people can't even eat Snickers bars. So there is a meat eater diet. So people who are carnivores and eat meat. There's a pescatarian diet. People who don't eat meat, but eat fish. Vegetarians, people who won't eat meat or fish, and that could be for personal reasons, that could be for health or dietary reasons. And there's also a vegan diet. So vegans are people who don't eat or use animal products. So that's not only food, that's things like leather, so leather belts and leather shoes. So these choices could be for personal preference because they choose to live these lives with these diets or it could be because it's healthier for them to do so. So let's just recap what we've learnt today because there's been a lot of information today. So we've learnt about how we can eat more healthily. We've learnt about what, a, what is five a day. So remember our portion sizes everybody. We've learnt about traffic light labelling and what is on those labels. We've learnt about the Eat Well Guide and about different diets and allergies. So, thank you everybody for listening today. If you have any questions, 